Hi, I'm Donathan. And I'm Kelly. And, and we, we are, are Craving, Craving Cinematics. Cinematics. Welcome back. We've got a review for you for Chris 3. Finally got to see it. Why you why you cut eyes at me like that? Finally got to see it. Because <laughs> I've been wanting to see this since I saw Chris. Well, we just watched it a couple weeks ago. I know. I wanted to watch it that night, but it you know. Well, you should have watched it that night. Yeah, but I want to watch it have you watch it with me though. It wouldn't be an actual review if we both didn't see it. Well, it's true. So, anyway, we did get to see it. <laughs> and I'm actually going to start off this time. Because I'm really excited about this movie. Really? Why? Because it was a really good movie. Now, we had a lot of comments about uh, Chris 3 when we had done the Chris review. And they said, well, it's not as good as Chris and the special effects weren't that great you know it you may or may not enjoy it i really enjoyed it uh the special effects yeah it could uh they could have been better but hey i'm giving it a pass simply because the amount of work and what was able to be achieved on such a low budget you can't compare these movies to big blockbuster Hollywood movies where they put $300 million against a budget. You just can't do that. Uh, especially when the movies that we're seeing coming out of India are usually less than $30 million. So I think they did a spectacular job for what they were able to pull off. But my favorite part of it, though, was the storyline. How it all just blended together and pulled all three movies together. The villain in it, I believe, was a fairly decent villain. He wasn't as strong as I think he could have been. But other than that, I think the movie was really, really good. So, uh, oh, allergies. Sorry, guys. Yeah. So, before I go into any detail, this is a non-spoiler review because yeah. I do want our American viewers to see all three movies. Koi Mil Gaia, Krish, and Krish 3. You've got to see all three because these are really, really good movies, but they have fantastic storylines. So, no uh, no spoilers in this. Oh, but, man. Well, now I can't say anything. Yes, you can. And that's what I'm going to ask you. What do you think? <laughs> all right. So, most of you know by now that I am not the hugest of superhero fans. Okay? The, the, to me... Really, all the movies are the same. There's just a different outfit. Okay. Uh, you know, they, they they follow the same same lines. There mm -hmm. there's a good guy, there's a bad guy. The bad guy does something. Usually, a girl involved in saving her, mm -hmm. and the good guy comes to save the girl, and then fights the bad guy, and the bad guy loses. The good guy wins. Okay, that's usually that that that's the superhero script. And yes, Chris followed that. Mm -hmm. Okay, which is fine because I too, for some reason, saw something in this storyline that made it just a little bit different, mm -hmm. and I thought that, that it, it kept my interest. Mm -hmm. um, the CGI, the the special effects, type stuff. Yeah, little on the weak side. Mm -hmm. There were there were a couple of them you were kind of like. Mm -hmm. It's a little cheesy, and that green screen's a little obvious. But, as Donathan said, you know, when you have a Hollywood big-budget movie, you can't put it up against what was spent on Krish. Mm -hmm. I think, to, like you, that they did a really good job mm -hmm. with what they had. And they made the story that much better to kind of maybe slide through the mm -hmm. maybe less expensive, less worked on graphics right does that make sense and i liked that uh, there was a little story twist for me and, and it had to and, and since he said it's a non-spoiler alert, alert i can't really say what it was except that it involved priya and krish and their future and the bad guy trying to ruin that future but i liked that mm -hmm. now for me because of that situation mm -hmm. what he was willing to do with their future 
Am I giving it away? I hope not. Mm, but not so far. Made him a made him a very good villain for me. Okay. I thought he was a good villain. Mm-hmm. What I what I had to chuckle at several times were his sidekicks. Yeah. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Let me tell you something, guys. Now, that was weak. That was weak. The lizard man with the... The tongue. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh, but that just, to me, you know, he's crawling around like a lizard, tree frog type thing with this long tongue that he was... <laughs> yeah, no. And then the unicorn man. <laughs> you mean the rhino. I... Unicorns have one, two. He could have been a unicorn man, but was he a rhino? Yes. He was crossed. Even worse, a rhino, a rhino, a rhino man. No, no. Um, what other ones were there? There was the... Scorpion. Oh, yeah. Yeah, guys, that just, to me, I don't know if it was meant as comic relief, but it works that way for me because I just... You know, to me, it was kind of, you had a really good bad guy, Mm -hmm. I thought, and then these sidekicks were just kind of weak. But besides that, I I, I liked this movie. Okay. I liked the movie Crush 3. So many of you had said, no, no, it's a terrible movie. It's not a terrible movie, I don't think. Um, I do agree where the, the CGI and special effects were a little on the you know, mm-hmm. poor quality side, but I think it made up for it with the acting and the and the storyline. All right. So Well, I can tell you why it seemed different to you than the other superhero movies. Well Donathan, you just do that. Okay. Why did it seem different to me? Well, all three movies have one focus that you do not have in any other uh, superhero movie, say one. And that's family. It's all True. about family. Every other superhero movie you watch, it's, they're on their own. They're either on their own or it's all about patriotism. Mm-hmm. It's not about family, the mm-hmm. close knit family. And like I said, say one. And there's one that, again, I said when we uh, did um, uh, a video last week where. My number one go-to superhero at the time was Black Panther. Krish has moved neck and neck with him. And it has primarily to do with their attitude. I really like T'Challa because he loves his people, he loves his family, it's all about them. Here on Craving Cinematics, we're all about family. We consider you guys our family. And Krish is all about family as well, but it expands beyond, just like in Black Panther, to the people. Now, T'Challa is king, so he has an entire country, but he also has uh, a profound effect on um, internationally, on the world as a whole. Krish, we haven't heard or seen anything from Krish 4 yet, but, but it's all about uh, family and that whole thing with Krish is focused on Mumbai right now. Mm-hmm. It's not in, not the entire country. However, it kind of alluded to it towards the end. So yeah, they're still neck and neck. Chichala still has one little edge up because of the whole nation and the international thing. But um, but yeah, I love this movie and it's all about family and that's what really attracted me about yeah. all three movies. And you know what? What? You're right. That's what it is. All right. That's, that's what it is. Although, but Spider-Man had family, too. True, but not on the level that Chris had. No, not on the level. Yeah, no. they, they touch on it in Spider-Man, but yeah. not. But he's all the time hiding from his family. True. Well, not, Chris had, yeah, I mean, but Priya knew. Priya and his knew. His dad his, knew. Yeah, exactly. His family knew. I guess it is. Yeah. So, all right. Well, I'm Donathan. I'm Kelly. And And we we are are Craving Craving Cinematics. Cinematics. Bye-bye.